Apparently, uh... Apparently, I, I guess you have a warrant? For what? I'm not it's sure. for voter stuff, man. For voter stuff. It's, it's uh, what it uh, is. It, I think the agents with FDLE talked to you last week about some voter fraud, voter stuff, when you weren't supposed to be voting, maybe. I didn't... So... They, that's what you're, we're not the case agents, but what you got to do, they, they have reduced your bond quite a bit. It, it's two felony charges for voter fraud, but they've reduced it to $500 bonds. So it's $1,000 total. Oh my God, man, what so, the... Yes, sir. So unfortunately, right now, we're going to have to take you to jail, but you are you got a bond right away. You don't have to go to first appearance, nothing like that. So, a bond? I didn't do it. No, man. We have a word for your arrest. What? Good, how are you, sir? Uh, right? Oh, my God. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me tell my husband. We, we, we're, we're telling him. He's right here. right here. So if you could put your hands on your back, please. Oh, my God. So In Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis has attempted to deflect unfounded claims of voter fraud via the Republican megaphone to arrest these citizens. I'm like, voter fraud? I voted, but I ain't fraud, commit no fraud. Well, yeah, so th that's the thing. I, I don't know exactly what happened with it, but you, you do have a warrant. That's what it's for. Okay. Oh, my God. We are here to go vote for whatever comes out. I got my time. Yep. But the warrant was just made uh, yesterday. So, I... I yeah, I know. I, I, I don't know, ma'am. I honestly couldn't tell you, okay? So, I got I to gotta do some paperwork and... Uh, the quicker I can get the paperwork done, the quicker I can get you there, okay? Hey, unfortunately, you got a warrant out, okay? Warrant? What yes, sir. Warrant? Want to put, you, put your hands behind your back for me? I guess you're not allowed to go. Well, no, but when I, no one ever really explained all that much to me. I told the guys when they came out here that I was at the, the driver's license place getting mm -hmm. my new driver's license. Yeah. The guy there asked me, he says, hey, can you walk? He says, hey, are you ready for the vote? I said, no, I'm a convicted felon. I'm pretty sure I can. He goes, well, are you still on probation? I said, no, uh, I got off probation like a month ago. He goes, well, then you can probably vote. Hey, just fill out the form, and if you can vote, then they'll let you give you a card. If you can't vote, then you won't. And I'm like, all right. Here's the backstory via the fine reporting of the Tampa Bay Times. Body-worn camera footage recorded by local police captured the confusion and outrage of Hillsborough County residents who found themselves in handcuffs for casting a ballot following investigations by Governor Ron DeSantis's new Office of Election Crimes and Security. The August 18th arrest conducted hours before DeSantis called a news conference to tout his crackdown on alleged voter fraud were carried out by state police officers accompanied by local law enforcement of the 19 people arrested 12 were registered as democrats and at least 13 are black the times slash herald found ramona oliver 55 years old was about to leave for work when police walked up her driveway at 6 52 a.m and told her they had a warrant for her arrest <laughs> Say hello to John Guzman. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? What's your name? John. John what? Guzman. Where are you coming from tonight? John is a member of law enforcement with the St. Cloud Police Department. He was found slumped over in his car, unconscious, and covered in his own vomit. You don't have to have any weapons on you, do you? Okay. We're going to touch down quick. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Guzman would be placed in handcuffs. Here was the aftermath. WESH reports Guzman was arrested for driving under the influence. He was unconscious behind the wheel with the car on and in drive with his foot on the brake. Police then ask Guzman to step out of the vehicle. He complies and sits on the curb, then stands up as police ask where he's coming from. A friend's house, Guzman replies. Police say Guzman declined a field sobriety test. He was taken to county jail.